What's good, sneakerhead sports fans and everybody else? This is your boy, Sports Guy Q, with another edition of Sneaker Sports in Life. Uh, just wanted to jump on and connect with you guys. Hadn't did a video since the Chameleon One unboxing, but just wanted to show you some love. Don't have new pickups, but got some good information some that I kind of hyped you guys to a couple of weeks ago. Went to Kicklahoma, saw some heat. Picked up some heat, but also the, the, I think the most important thing that took place during that trip was the conversations that me and the fellas had going and coming back from Oklahoma. And I told you a couple of weeks ago that the videos were on the way, and this is a great opportunity to drop the first one. Um, this conversation is something that I think a lot of sneakerheads have talked about before, but nobody really has caught on tape, and that's which sneakers have the best boxes we've seen the collabs with the dope boxes we've seen even the, the general releases with some good boxes but we've never really had that conversation and this is a this was a great topic this is some some good suggestions and we just heard we just heard about some heat during this trip um during this part of the talk part of the talk um i'm not gonna belabor you too much more let you guys see and after you watch the video, if you have a, a, a shoe box or a shoe collab that wasn't talked about, drop the link in the comment section. Or if you're on Instagram and you saw this video, tag me into the uh, an image of a picture of a box that you have or that you think is pretty cool. Um, I think a lot of people have gotten away from hyping this, uh, the shoe boxes. We see now with a lot of these a lot of heads are using uh, clear containers to display their kicks and sometimes that works uh, especially if you have a damaged box where the box got kind of trashed and transport with moving and anything like that but if you can keep that box it, it's very important a lot of times me personally I don't have anything out of, out of the ordinary I think the most unique box that I can say I have is the LeBron a sprite box is just uh, the silhouette of him in the lion so I gotta step up my game personally uh, the exclusive collection boxes but if you have one show it off and once again I want to thank everybody for supporting me everybody that subscribed everybody that's hit that like button and especially those who hit that notification button keep doing what you do got a couple more videos after this one be sure to check them out this is your boy Sports Guy, Sports Guy Q. See you in the next video. Peace. What is the dopest shoe box released with the shoe that you've ever seen? That's, that's dope. Just, just, just for a basic shoe. Well, not basic, but just to have that shoe. 
I don't think as far as like companies that do extra, I think Bait does a lot. Extra Butter does pretty Extra Butter does a lot yeah. with their shoes. Concepts, of course, does, does cool boxes. I think that stuff adds to the nostalgia of, of why people get the shoes. Did y'all you, you see that StockX raw one collab that they did? Uh, no, but I'm going to tell you one. Speaking of that, you want to talk about it? You, they did a contest. You got all of that. Well, it was worth the package for seven thousand dollars. Speaking of, if you want to talk about no packaging, and I'm still mad because I bought this shit. Not everybody got this shit, but the one shit that to me because it, I don't drink soda. When they did that LeBron 12 Sprite, right? With that, with that Sprite. I, the, has anybody seen one in person? I've seen one in person. You I have? have, to, I have with seen one with in the headphones yes, and everything. Yeah. I, I went crazy. Yeah, I, I drank some of the Sprite. The Sprite was good. Yeah, like <laughs> that right there is just crazy because, and also one that people slept on. Shout out to Sneaker Sensei, man. The Kyrie, uh, the Kyrie 2 uh, Pepsi. Yeah. The one, the one, the one, the one. Uh -huh. The one Pepsi. The locker. Yeah, yeah the locker. Like, yeah, from yeah. Sensei, you know, yeah. put on his side, he had uh, yeah, so. uh, Uncle Drew in the Pepsi locker. That's what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I think goes for a lot of money, too, right? Yeah, yeah. the locker alone goes for a lot of money. Like, you can't. Um, they had one up at Pound for Pound. Did you check that out? Yeah. The dude who sold it to him scratched his serial number off. I was like, why did you do that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What if it was one? Right. One of whatever. You know what I mean? I like the, there's a couple other ones that I have to impact you on. Like I thought that were beyond. Like, and there's some that disappoint me. Like, for instance, when they released this was the Jordan 17. Briefcase, no silver briefcase. Like to me, one or two fifty. One or two fifty. When I caught one, I was like, "This." Oh, well, look at the re-release of the of the breads. When they restocked, they came in like a regular box. They didn't have the pullout. Well, it had the pullout, but it didn't have like the slide box. People like the slide box. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they love the presentation. Now they did have a special space jam pack. Yeah, yeah with, the, the, with the water bottle. That was five. That was five. Yeah. Yeah. I would have paid for that. I would have paid for that. Came with the movie, copy of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. So, the mic stuff or whatever. Up, yeah, secret yeah. stuff. Now, I did see, uh, shout out to the you know, I think Paul Simpson had a crazy Gary G. He got a shirt. Mm -hmm. The spare shirt. He got the bat. Yeah, the bat. Yeah, that, that. that. They did that with that G1. The stick ball. The stick ball. Yeah. Kind of yeah. represents New York. Yeah, so yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, so like, yeah, I think that was pretty dope. I wish they would have did more with the, uh, the, what is it, the ones that just came out the old ones, the ones you got cute? The, oh, the, the air wings? Yeah, I wish they would have did something. Yeah, they should have done it. They should have done the white box, they should have went the gold box. I mean, it's a unique box. Like, it's a unique shoe. Like, maybe the box changes colors. Get the box its own thing. The only thing they really had that was special about it was the, the dust bag. And that was, I mean, not every shoe was starting to do it that way. Or well, those that claim to have premium shoes. So, that really wasn't as special. Because if you see the white box, you don't think of a gold shoe. Y'all follow, was it Jacques Slade? Yeah. yeah. That refrigerator he got with the, with the champagne bottle and the, no, I ain't seen the Air Force ones. No. They, were, they, they said just in case you couldn't make it to the championship, the Golden State one, it's a mini fridge. You open it up, a bottle of Moet and two uh, cork Air Force ones with gold glitter. I, and I, I heard about uh, the Air Force ones, but I never saw his video. I wonder if he gets to keep that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're in his size. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, they, Nike sends them. Yeah, they normally send them in his size. That's crazy. Can you imagine? Because he, he got a couple packs been, like that lately. He's been, right. been, he's been doing it for so long. He got that Michigan pack when Michigan first signed the, 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 the trainers, yeah. With the locker. Oh, 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 Michigan, man. He was, he was scraping all the packs. He was up there. Man. He was up there. Well, there's no chance for them. There wasn't no chance for the yeah. But unless you knew a player, yeah. that was the only way you were going to get them unless you paid out the ass. See, to me, like, they got to do something with the player. Everybody gets them. To me, it's a shoe that they don't do. Maybe because they tell you it's man, that makes it a big deal. But, man. You know, in Oregon, when they released the Pickers, mm -hmm. how you got those is if you were a player, but the Pick Crew was the student body, right? Yep. And what they did is, if you went to a certain amount of games, you were registered, right? And if you were showing support, at the end of the season, they would give you that shoe. You know what I mean? That was, you were part of the big group. Right. But then, people getting it and selling them. Yeah. Well, no, 
I ran into a chick at this uh, journalism event, and they had they were there for the Oregon School of Journalism, and they had the shoot on display because they, I guess, going by what you just said, they got them that way, so they were there. Just part of the mm-hmm. support crew almost. Yeah, but the Oregon, there's so many places on shoot. Yeah. I just, you don't know, like to me, when they started hitting Texas, I get a problem. In this case, you got them from somebody, you know. Like, man, it was crazy. We shout out to the dude that, uh, we used to go to Franks he had that Pantone 13 song. He said it. And it was like, this before it became a big deal. And I'm like, how did you get this out? What is it? Uh, Gold Boy Kings? Yeah. I'm like, how did you get a bunch? He said it was 7,000. Yeah. The guy's like 17 years old. Yeah, yeah he's doing good, man. He, he, I think he helps out a track routine now. Yeah, he's yeah, partnered, he, right? Yeah, yeah. he's partnered. Yeah. 